Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, when do the police need to read me Miranda warnings? The purpose of Miranda warnings is to advise of and to thereby protect each and every arrested person's Fifth Amendment constitutional right against compulsory self-incrimination and to concurrently let them know that they have a Sixth Amendment right to counsel before the police can lawfully engage in the custodial interrogation of a detained suspect. The key words here are custodial and interrogation. And in order for Miranda to apply, both custody and interrogation must simultaneously coexist. So if you're not in custody, if you're not being detained, if you're free to walk away from officer friendly without consequence, then they can ask you all of the questions that they want without reading you Miranda. And if you choose to sit there and answer, well, then that's going to be on you. Why? If you're not in custody and you're free to leave, then it's up to you and only you to tell Officer Friendly to go pound sand. On the other hand, if you're in custody, then you can't walk away. But if you're not, you can walk away without consequence. Where you are in custody, where you are detained, where you are not free to walk away from Officer Unfriendly, then you need to be read Miranda, but only if at that time, while you are in custody, they want to question you. And if they don't question you, even though you're in custody, you don't have to be read Miranda. I know this is a little complicated. Miranda must only be read when you are both in custody. Again, meaning a police officer will not let you leave. And if you try to leave, you're going to be stopped and prevented. And at that same time, they want to question you about a crime. Let's take an example. If a police officer walks up to you while you're standing in line outside of a nightclub, or while you're in an airport, or at a crime scene, or basically anywhere, and says to you, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Miranda is not necessary. Why? Because you're free to walk away. However, should the officer either physically or with words restrict your ability to leave, then you're not free to walk away. You are in custody. And before that officer questions you, Miranda is going to be required. That said, please note, even when you're in custody, certain questions do not require Miranda. For instance, if an officer asks you your name, your date of birth, your social security number, those types of questions are not going to trigger Miranda. Why? That's not an interrogation. That said, I want to thank you for your question, and I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon. <laughs>